In his meeting with Sabine Weyand, the Chief Minister pointed out that 96% of Gibraltar had voted to remain in the EU, but said we had come to terms with the fact that we were leaving with the UK, given the overall result of the referendum. He said Gibraltar continued to comply with the Union's rules and should not be discriminated against going forward. Fabian Picardo explained the priorities for Gibraltar in the coming negotiations, detailing the importance of a free-flowing land frontier with Spain, making it clear this was in everyone's interest. The effects of Clause 24 of the EU Council negotiating guidelines, which grant Spain an additional veto over the application of the EU-UK future relationship agreement to Gibraltar, were discussed. Well, it went very well. It wasn't a negotiation. It's, we're all very clear that the negotiation has been led by the United Kingdom. But uh, the team that is negotiating for the European Union gave us an opportunity. Uh, all of the devolved administrations in Gibraltar, and I know that uh, Mr Corbyn, the leader of the Labour Party, has been here today to provide our own views and our own uh, information uh, about the issues that are relevant to each of the regions and to Gibraltar. And I think that was an important opportunity for us to put in, in the case of Gibraltar, the voice of the people of Gibraltar to the team and our views on some of the aspects that are relevant. Mr Picardo and Dr Garcia had arrived in Brussels late last night, straight from Parliament. They were joined by the Attorney General, Michael Yamas, and officials from the Gibraltar House in Brussels. Following the meeting, they did not stop to talk to the press. Well, government business is never easy and there's a lot of things to be dealing with and you know, agendas move uh, more quickly than one might expect. EU officials are understood to have been very apologetic about the fact that the invitation was so last minute. This did not seem to bother Mr Bigardo. Look, travelling today is not as difficult as it might have been 100 years ago. It's possible to be in Brussels from one day to the next. Uh, it is true that the invitation came late, but we welcomed it with open arms and therefore we made ourselves available. I adjourned the Gibraltar Parliament earlier than I expected to have to adjourn it and therefore we're going to have to go back uh, before the summer break again. But look, MPs are paid uh, to work and if they can't go on holiday as early as we all might wish to, it's a good thing that the taxpayer is getting value for money. So I make no complaints whatsoever. I'll be available at short notice whenever it's necessary to put the case for Gibraltar. And as long as it is logistically possible, uh, people can count on me being where Gibraltar needs me to be. Fabian Picardo says he's delighted that top members of the EU negotiating team made the time to meet with Gibraltar, feeling he has been shown respect at all times. If I detected for one moment that the people of Gibraltar were not being dealt with with respect, then I would be the first to tell the world and I think people would not be impressed by the fact that the, the people of Gibraltar who demonstrated their European credentials, their belief in the European project with their 96% vote, were not being treated with the respect that that democratic mandate deserved. When I have felt that there has been something inappropriate, I have said so, I've expressed my views very clearly as to the European negotiating guidelines, the, the Council's negotiating guidelines. I've given my views as to what Clause 24 uh, amounts to, and you can rest assured that I would be the first to, uh, to raise the issue if I felt it necessary or appropriate. The government has today also been in close contact with the United Kingdom over the publication in Westminster of further Brexit papers and the Great Repeal or Withdrawal Bill.